Razor just jumping around the stage. Yeah, I think Dag is going to have to catch Razor's jumps with Mare. I think that can win in a set. But if Razo isn't jumping when he needs to not be jumping, this would definitely be a full set. Yeah, like, well, with Paulo's lack of out of shield options, oh. like it. Ooh, that one must have hurt. It's gonna be tough for any oh. well spaced aerials from Razo to go punish. I mean, right now it's looking decently good. One Dash back air. brought it back. Dash is down 50% just a few seconds ago. Less than 30 seconds ago, actually. The Razo secures the first kill. That yep. might have been diable. Not quite sure, though. Maybe looking for a back air right now. Oh, boy. Oh, back air, yup. No. You, you got it. Fortune teller. Now tell us what's going to happen in the rest of the match. Alright, well, you see he's going to need to get up. Yo, that's why. And, uh... Gonna see a lot, of, a lot of up air strings come out. Thanks for telling me as two <laughs> up air strings happen. And uh, ne ne next time Dash gets off ledge, he is going to neutral get up again. Can you see? Yes, right here. I will give you this if that happens. Ah! I, I, I keep the piece of chair. All right. Well, this is a All very right. for Dash. Combo time for Paolo. Hi, AD. My doubles card. Maybe it was a another nair right there would have been a bit better. This is still definitely doable for Dash. Razo is picking some unsafe options. Yeah, that, I don't know what he was trying to cover with that side B. The only thing it would have covered is like short hop backwards. Yeah, I think he's just getting ballsy with his advantage. Getting yeah. a little confident. Maybe sending a message. I don't know what message he has to send. I feel like he might get a little overconfident. I think he's not impressed with this pilot right now. I mean, it's not too far away. I think there's definitely a way for Dash to make it back. As I said, he just needs to catch those jumps, and he started to. That auto aim was good. Yeah, he, uh, he, he, guys, he was drifting back with the back air, so. Uh, taunt from Rezo. Could be some taunt to get bodied? Rezo gets in combo, but Dash breaks out pretty successfully. Dash is really using his projectiles to his advantage right now. You don't see that a ton with Palu, but when you do, it's usually pretty good. And there's the kill. Yeah, that was a great jump call by Dash. Yeah, Razo air. really needs to watch out for back airs. He's died twice to back air, and Dash is hitting them very consistently. Especially with the priority on that move. And Dash is now winning. Yeah, Razo drops lead, but Razo's an absolutely explosive player. We can see a combo come out right here and end right. Good, Good coverage with that up air. Right. And... No drop down counter. I think Dash could find a kill right here. And there it is! That was a Hard great read F smash. smash. That was a great F smash by Dash. It's very nice. Dash started to catch Razo's jumps way better than he was before. Yeah. I, I feel like once Dash kind of slowed it down and threw out some projectiles. Yeah, he definitely slowed it down, started to catch Razo's movement, and catch his jumps really well. I think the adaptation just took that game. Yeah. It went from a completely one sided game to something that was really close. It's good to see. Uh, I think if Dash can play like he did on that last stock for this game, it's going to be a two stock at least. Yeah. I think we've seen, uh, we just saw Rezo drop a game and then win by a landslide though. Maybe you will see it again. It's may maybe a box, but I, I think that, that was close enough where staying Wolf is I the I think answer. we'll see Wolf, but I'm not completely sure on it. Justin, he, 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 he's seen which headphones he likes. He, that's understandable. You need to have headphones you like. Nice and comfortable. Going with the game audio. Game audio. Oh boy, this could go either way here. Hang on, Wolf. All right, here we go. Game he took two. Took off the sweater. Let's see, game two, Rezo. One of the strongest players in this venue is definitely game two, Rezo. <laughs> I mean, you are right. Like, he, when he is down, he plays like a madman. Yeah. Okay. But he might get close to death here. Dash's so, Palu just keeping him so close to the ledge. Dash mm -hmm. won't connect, though. Going for some more empty hops. Just when Dash thinks he was going to be able to call out the jump, some more empty hops are coming out and makes it a lot more complicated for him. 
the Dash seems to be struggling to get any reads on Re Rezo right now. He's definitely slowing it down though. When he slowed it down last time, it was pretty good for him. And this can determine the winner of the pool, by the way. Oh yeah, I, I think these are this the is one, for and, one and two seeds of the pool, so there's a good chance that... We could see Dash out at second seed. Well, if Dash wins right here... He would take the second seed spot. It, yeah. Most likely, uh, from my Alright, ooh, no back air. Oh, that's not gonna kill though. Dash can make it back. It is. Are we gonna see a throw right here? Oh. No. Yes, we are. Forward throw. Oh, uh, that was ugly. Dash had the read on the side B, but he Dash did not can definitely pull out right a kill right here, especially with how much Razo's falling for back airs. We can see something. Maybe a back throw at ledge. Razo has some momentum going though. He's hitting combos. Oh, oh my gosh. That was some. Palu up tilt on a fastballer. 150? Wow. That was not How do you even DI that? Uh, you get us. Once you get hit by the SDI. Razo has his momentum. Alright, great ledge trapping. Alright, back, back to oh. neutral. Uh, Razo's starting to get with his more confident options now. This is where we saw him falter last game, so we'll see if history repeats itself. Alright, so, so far Dash has been really good on recovering, avoiding that down smash in any two frames. Yeah, when you main Bayonetta, you have to learn how to avoid a lot of those things. And right. I think his skill from Bayonetta transfers over really well to Palutena. Yeah, the, like so, Smash 4 Bayo and uh, Ultimate Palu definitely have a couple similarities. I mean, a couple. They're very different characters. I mean, th th they both have pretty good combo game. They're oh, wait, we broke the golden rule. We mentioned Smash 4 Bayo. Oh. Uh, Dash, if you're rewatching the set, we're sorry. Love uh, you. Um, we'll no longer mention Smash 4 Bayo. Okay, um, character that will go unnamed. The name that is not to be spoken. At least we lasted until game two to do it. Yeah. Say so that, that that's better than most commentators. Yeah. All right, back to the game. Oh, Razo is a still. full stock ahead. He's got his game two momentum. And Drop down. Back. There. As I said before, game two Razo is one of the best players. So far, every one of his game twos has been consistently very good. Yes. He may not do amazing at first, but once he gets some download on you. It, it's not gonna be fun. But now we're going to game three. Could Dash switch off to ultimate Bayonetta? I'm not sure he will. I think he might stay confident as Palu here. Depending oh. on the stage choice. This depending on Razo's strikes, I think Palu would definitely be the option. We're going to Battlefield. I think it's gonna be Palu. Uh, I, I, I think it's gonna be Bayo. Bayo? Oh, oh man. It's Palu. It's Palu. I, I don't know about... The, the, the second half of that game, too, was not looking good for Dash. But Wolf Palu would only make it a lot worse, in my opinion. Well, we see, uh, as I would say, Dash won't go better in the matchup. Alright, good Dash attack. A re-grab off of the Dash attack. Ooh, into another Dash attack. <laughs> this is the Razo momentum. If you do nothing to stop it, you're going to lose this. Great spot dodge by Razo. Avoiding the grab earlier. Good spot dodge. Good back air. You should just, yeah. Good Dude. near. Good down smash. That was a bad down It was a Hail Mary. Well, it looks like Dash might be starting to get his back. Ooh! That would have been fast. Good DI on the up smash, though. Good DI on the back air as well. He's still living. Yeah, they, they definitely. Oh, up there. I think Dash might be able to stop Razor's momentum if he wants to more hits, and he doesn't. It's a, ah, it's, a taunt. it's a tough back air to swallow, but I mean, Paolo can do like nair nair or forward air, and then ledge trap. I think Dash's grabs have been one of the high points of this set. He's been very good at getting converting off of those. The only thing I recommend on those is just I want to see him get a few down throw combos when he can. That might be able to end a few stocks just a little early. Yeah, like he, he's gotten like down throw back air a couple times, but oh, that hurts to mm. see. I mean, Razo has been going for that all set, and he finally lands one, and that's like the last. That, 
he, That's he, his last chance to do it. Yeah. And here not, comes the confident Razor. Not good for dash. He tries to BM. Yup. Well, this is a gift for dash. This yeah. is 100% doable. This is definitely doable if he kills early. The problem is killing Rezo early. And another two frame. Two in a row. No. That just hurts. There's not a lot you could have done about those two frames. It's not something Alu can counter super easily. It might be one of the lower points of the matchup. Yeah, holy. That down smash. Oh. It was definitely a good set, though. As soon as Rezo adapts, it just seems like he moves up an entire league in terms of his skill, though. That was some crazy wolf play. The down throw to Wolf Flash was true. I don't know why he ran for it. Yeah. So, that wasn't BM. Oh, Pow Pow is on stream. Oh, it's time. Oh, oh Pow Pow. Now, th this, this is for first. I No, no, be because Nuh has lost, correct? No, no, um, beat Candy. Oh, so. Flex on him. Flex. Ooh. Yes. All right, but uh, not a uh, pow pow. This could determine the winner of the pool. This definitely could. I, I, I think this will. I'm gonna check the uh, tournament. Uh, well, it it could also depend on how uh, Rebel was doing in that pool as well. Mm. Because uh, he'd beat Candy and the other person. Well, Rebel's currently at two and two, and Nah is three and zero. Oh. Nah and Pow oh, okay. are both three and zero. Oh. This will determine the winner of the pool. All right, so a uh, winner gets a higher seed in playoffs, a loser gets a lower seed in playoffs. But they have both made it, correct? Yes, they have both made it. Checking group three again. Um, it's still a tie. Still uh, a tie. Yeah, should we? For forest. How, how, how did they end up deciding the three-way yeah. tie? Like, wh what's going on with that? Yep. Yeah. So are, are they doing the... Just the three of them. Is there any progress on how that's going so far? Uh, do you know who's winning that so far? Or any progress on that? Oh, baby. That's new the stuff. The whole thing on stream. All right. So... Oh, my God. That's... 